do like like freeze life form show your identification and then when he doesn't have any just blow him away because that's how skynet rolls what is going on everybody right here back with some arc survival evolve mod and today just showing off a yet another update to the futurism mod and it's just the craziest update you could imagine like this is what we had before we had this mech right here and we had these little sentry drones but now we have the freaking berserker which just look at this thing it has a machine gun on one arm a freaking fuel rod is that a fuel rod I'll find out in one second Oh, a rail gun, even fancier. So yeah, look at the size of this thing. With like once you stand it or once you board the ship, it all activates, but it just curls up after. I'm a little flabbergasted. I don't even know how to commentate, commentate and describe this thing because it's just such a freaking masterpiece. Like this thing blew my mind. And now it's just like the mining counterpart. Like the weapons stay tucked in the wrist now. It's just, it's just too, like this, I thought this was for battle before, but no, this is just for, for mining. <laughs> Like, look at this nonsense before I even get into, before I even get into what's, what's going on with this berserker right here. Look at this. I didn't show this last time either, but you can actually cycle through the colors. So just to match whatever biome you're in, just to be the most, it's, it's just too crazy. I don't understand this mod. It's like, it's, it's its own video game inside Ark. The guy put so much work into it. <laughs> before I even try out the berserker, I'm going to go drill. Look at this, 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 they stay in your wrist until you draw the weapons out. How cool is that? So yeah, before I thought this was a battle mech, it turns out it's more of just a mining mech. Look at how it just gathers. That would make sense though, why both of its attachments are just giant's claws for the most part. I'm straying off my point again. Look at that, you just go up to anything you want, drag the resources all on out it, and then it pretty much just turns. Like over here, you can make mass amounts of fiber just off wood, and over here you make metal ingots just off of metal, but it's one metal becomes three metal ingots. It's like, it's a magnificent thing. It just it, it just scavenges resources so much better. Look at that, we have 30 fiber off like one wood, and then you just use one metal, and it creates three of these. Try not to be super redundant right now. I just didn't cover this last time, and it's just it's just an awesome thing. I didn't realize this. I thought this was I had it fighting the brood mother and shit. That's not what it's for at all. This is just for gathering resources. This berserker over here is for going into battle. So just before I even hop into this thing and show you what it's capable of, it cannot switch colors right now, unfortunately. I think it's just right in the middle of that. That'll be cool though. But one thing, if you could activate the lights, see the little lights on the shoulder, then you turn them off. This is too much, man. Why don't dinosaurs have lights on them? All right, now before I board this bad boy, bad, bad, bad boy, I'm saying that just horribly incorrectly. I'll show you what else is going on over here. We have um the the tail turret, the HST tail turret, which you just strap to the tail of the freaking berserker. It's just too awesome. Disappeared on me right there, but it'll be back. There we go. And I assume just just something I'm doing wrong. Come on, boom. Doesn't quite fit well. Yeah, there we go. It just blends in after. And then here, here is just the freaking tail turret. Like, that is just too crazy. Like, you're literally on the tail. This is for multiplayer use. You could have one person driving it and the other person on the tail just firing. This is too much. It's just too much responsibility for me right now. Here's all the bullets I put into it. Let me see one more thing. So the tail cannon. The tail cannon has three different options. You could either have the heavy... Ooh, the heavy incinerary. Didn't even see those before. Damn, I'm gonna try those out next time. All I stockpiled right now is these. And even these on their own. Shit, don't shoot the floor right in front of you. We're just sure at a very weird view right now with no one driving this thing. But look at these. You, you saw that explosion at the bottom of the ocean. Super useful tail turret right here. I just could not imagine having a few- God, I want a modded server so bad now just to get like two- Me and a friend in this and then two friends facing off. That would just- That'd be so epic. So other than that, oh god, once you board it, look at that big scorpion tail. So yeah, now, I can't be in the back right now while I'm driving it, but I can imagine the view just gets a lot better. So let's see here, the standard weapon on the right, we have the machine gun, it just fights, or fires these, the 20mm auto cannon, And then on the, uh, actually is C, you press C to use like the other, the other bullets. For the other bullet options, you have the smoke canister, the cluster canister, and the flare canister. And then, of course, on the left side, it shoots the railgun. This thing is just super freaking equipped for anything. Right here, you decide either on flare, smoke, or HEC. It's just a war machine, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's its, it's, its own game inside of Ark. Because this mod is just... This is like the tech version of Joanne's Dragon God mod, what that is to creatures. 
of course being part of the future is a mod it has better movement abilities than most of the dinos in this game like they just do i don't know how they do so of course being part of the future is a mod these these mechs have better movement abilities than just most creatures in arc is that a baby packy that's adorable like it just rides so smoothly over the landscape occasionally getting stuck on trees but you can't get mad at everything if it just drove smoothly through trees, in fact, that'd be even more unrealistic. But look at that, we just, oh my god. This is like a freaking Mars Rover 10.0 right here. We could just roll over anything with giant guns on the front. We're just, it's glitching a little bit, I'll give it that. But I mean, we're riding through this valley with such leisure. Can I go up the hill? I can't. That would be impossible, though. That'd be a little ridiculous. But either way, these wheels, man. Like this, imagine if you had someone manning the tail right now. You'd just be owning this entire island's ass. Like, five teams of two people, just all, like, search and destroy, last last person alive wins. That'd be so- <gasps> I found my brethren, fellow scorpions! Alright, fellow scorpions, I'm sorry to show this off right now, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So, of course, left click is the... The rail gun. Let's just... Boom! Look at that one shot. Not the biggest explosion, but it drops them both instantly. That is, that is cold-blooded to do to my own type right here. My own kind. Oh, a badass scorpion, dude. <laughs> I would have loved to tame him in my modded series. First person may be the way to be in these things. Like this, until you get caught on a freaking pair. Ooh, look at all these little drones. And just gone. Whenever the bullet lands. Wait for it. There we go. Just everything in front of us vaporized. This is some Skynet Terminator shit right here. And Demorphodons? Got them down out of the sky. Rizzy. I'm still getting used to the firing on this thing. Where it aims? There we go. See, this is this is just this is just an incredible invention right here. Why doesn't the military have these already? Oh wait, no. We will eventually, and that's where Skynet comes into play. So see, once you get the aiming down on this gun, it actually how'd you escape? Oh, you're you're fighting those guys. I thought he, I thought he was a victim of my bullets. Come on, spray and pray. Spray that area. See, it's, it's more burst fire right now. Oh no, I just have to keep clicking forever. Pretty awesome, dude. I'm missing every freaking shot right now, but yeah, look at that. You can take over the whole world as this thing. We're being attacked, but I can't tell if they're attacking us or nesting in our in our claws. So just shoot, shoot the ground or something. I just gotta gun this raptor down, man. You just do so much damage. I'm gonna destroy all those dragonflies. Mega Nero's out the ass right now. Oh, they seem to be somewhat. Invincible? <laughs> What's going on here? They're too small. There we go. So there you have the machine gun and the rail gun. Both just the exact weapons I'd imagine would be equipped on this giant thing. I just wish I could ride the tail while I do this. My god, that would be so much fun. Okay, if you get caught in a crevice, the, the, the accuracy is sacrificed a little, but I'd imagine it's just because we don't have free arm movement. Everything dies. Prepare to meet your maker. Boom! Wow. You lucky bastard. You've earned life right there. We're just caught on things now. Damn it. Damn, I'll sit our big ass legs. Just get on out of there. Get yourself into that mess. You can get yourself out. All right, up next on the arsenal, we're going to be showing off the, ooh, the HEC. That's the cluster canisters. Or canister. <laughs> all right, just hit C and it unleashes them. Unleashes a good amount too in all directions. Holy shit, we killed everything in the area. Now well, that's what I'm talking about. That's what a cluster bomb's supposed to do. Cluster up an area with explosives. And you can just release these like candy. You just run around the island shooting them like crazy. Of course they cost a good am- Damn, we're killing everything. We're even gathering resources right now. <laughs> or do we just have inventory pickup? This one's kind of a power trip. Because now I'm just walking around killing everything. Indiscriminately, everything will die. Terror birds. Oh, now I just feel like some evil Terminator force. That's the thing this entire mod's meant to make you feel like. See, so I still haven't, if you guys are wondering, I still haven't tested, or I, I, I know they're not compatible with the modded series. I just think there might be some things we could do to maybe fix it. I definitely still need to work on. You guys need to give me some damn space. All right, Cluster Bomb, if you don't land at our feet, what's the point? We're tangled up with too many creatures! This is a huge back- Oh, we accidentally killed the Spino over there. That's so funny. Alright, come on, come on. In situations like this, when you're swarmed by other creatures, you would pop the flare. 
and let your fellow mech buddies know you are in trouble. That right there signifies we need help. We're being swarmed by the little ones. They just crawl around on our feet. This is bullshit. This shouldn't be a thing. Such an epic creature brought down by such minuscule things. Who the hell is that? Come on, turn around. Turn around before they catch up to you. No! Get out of here. Damn it, small targets is a real issue on this. This is exactly what the tail gun would be for. Exactly. What's our other option here? Flare and then, oh, smoke bomb. Smoke bomb is how we'll dispense the area. Yeah, that'd be the way to do it. Look at that. Cause then it just drops right at our feet. The entire area gets smoked, in fact. Dude, a battle full of these mechs would be so crazy. It would just be the smokiest, flariest, most explosion-ridden battle ever. It would all be about killing the guy on the tail first. Oh man, that's just so cool. You could equip a tail gun. But yeah, back to my back to my modern survival series. I um I will test, I will make them, or I will try, I'll do my best to make them compatible. But the only reason I haven't really tried yet also is because we still have so much to work on in that series. Like such a such an insane amount of tasks are laid out before us because we've yet to get so many things done that I almost don't want to just go rush in add other mods that I know are going to take a long time to get in there. And, um, ooh, some Brontos. I'm going to shoot you in the dick and just start making this stuff and sidetracking the series or certain things like that. Because those are all possibilities. Worst case scenario, if it's not compatible, and I can't make it compatible at all just because, damn, that, 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 that just, that is just beautiful. I feel like the worst case scenario, like, we'll just gather every, dude, this thing is awesome. We'll just gather, oh, I was a kid though, that's kind of messed up. We'll just gather every mod we can, or every mod that sounds awesome that isn't compatible with what we currently have, and like on episode 100 or something, we'll just make a whole new modded survival series with a whole new set of mods that are just crazy on their own. You can't escape Skynet, bro. Don't you watch Terminator? Has no one showed this Bronto Terminator before? Who's even bigger size-wise? I feel like it's a pretty close, pretty close comparison. This thing is huge, dude. I'm just really embarrassed I thought the last one... You done now, sucker? I'm really embarrassed I thought the last one was a battle mech. I can't imagine how frustrated the mod dev would have been if he came across that video, seeing me go to battle with it. When clearly it was just for mining, and this one right here is solemnly for world domination. <laughs> I just love this thing so much. I saw that the mod had updated, and I was like, ooh, I'll bet he added some textures. The game froze! But yeah, I thought he added some textures. <laughs> Little did I know, he added my favorite creation ever. Look at that. Through all that, through that whole journey of just having everything hit the crap out of us while I just geeked around talking, we've only taken a thousand damage. I can't believe this thing's just for mining, though. Like, that's so perfect. That's so what you'd expect. I feel like an entire server with just this mod would just, like, oh, that'd be so much fun. It would just end up like some futuristic world-inhabiting people. It'd be just like Subnautica, but imagine the planet they went to had dinosaurs. And the mod devs are okay with bringing guns into the mix. So that's how it works, I guess. The drill is just for rocks and the saw is just for wood. I feel so embarrassed I didn't pick up on that before. I played way too much, um, Dawn of War back in my life. When I see a chainsaw, I think of the freaking um... I think of the standard Space Marines assault rifle with the big, with the big, with the big chainsaw. Just chainsaws people in half, I guess I... I guess I also think of the chainsaw gun from Gears of War, but but nonetheless, I don't think I'm to blame here. I think that's standard stuff. I can't imagine how else this mod dev could even make this crazier. Like, I thought this was the epitome of crazy right here. I was like, oh, we got sentry drones and battle mechs. Try and top that. This thing just shits on that. That you, you are required. Like, you go in and clear the battlegrounds, then you go in and clear the resources after. You ain't nothing compared to this guy. I just can't wait to see what else is added on. The mod dev is having ideas I've never even seen put into work before. A tail gunner? An attachment tail gunner? That shoots legit bombs? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to work on setting up some kind of modded server with Mousecraft. We're gonna have to get this going just somehow, because... I mean, TIE fi oh, We have TIE Fighters, too! We could throw TIE Fighters into the mix. Between, between the TIE Fighters and the Berserker, and even the LST-20, and even the Sentry Jones, even stuff like this and lightsabers. We just have so many epic ass battles that I just can't do on my own. I need to see two of these put up against each other with someone in the tail on each of them. That would just make my life. Disappointingly enough for some reason, but I would, <laughs> I would really just, oh my god, that would be the highlight of my month. <laughs> Yo, excuse me real quick. 
And it pops up. Oh, damn it. I thought I had, I forgot. I thought I had flares. Never mind. I thought I had smoke bombs right there. I was like, shit, I've just smoked up my entire area. Come on. Release the flares. God, he just thought of everything. Little missile turrets on the side that just... I just love it, dude. I'm nerdgasming hardcore with this mod right now. I feel like, like, freeze, life form. Show your identification. And then when he doesn't have any, just blow him away. Because that's how Skynet rolls. I'm gonna go power trip really hard into the woods in this thing and just shoot everything that disagrees with me. You know, I kind of wish I had the, oh, what's going on, buddy? The ultimate test right now. You need to get out of my face, bro. I got beef right. You don't tail swag a berserker. That's just not how it goes. I'm going to test this out right now on one of the biggest, I guess the biggest creature we've had to worry about in Ark. Prepare to get shot in the ass, bro. It looks like Barney. Why are you purple? Okay, one shot out. We've been raged. What is happening to us? I need to see the size comparison. Dude, we are about as big as you. You ain't scary. You can't take damage right now, this is bullshit. I feel like against giant mechs, you should be able to take railgun damage, even when you're raged out. It's just not how the world works. He just keeps re-raging. We can't win this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> get away from me. Get, get your big spiky ass away from me right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening to me right now. This is so embarrassing. Freaking battle mech, what the hell, man? The future is now, but he is not taking it. He's vintage, he's all about the old ways. Let's see, see how many bites we took and how much health we have. Let's just, he's right on our ass, oh my god. Help me, help me. <laughs> my flares are doing nothing. They're not intimidating the beast at all. I mean, I feel like in reality that would confuse the hell out of it, but okay, it's all good. Come on, I'm cluster bombing the shit out of this area. There's no way he's gonna kill our mech right now. Are you serious, dude? Oh my god. Oh my, imagine making one of these in your survival series and then losing the damn thing. That'd be so upsetting. <laughs> that, that would suck so much ass. All right, buddy. It's very clear that you've got us killed. I think you've won this round. I will definitely see you next time. Oh, it is so time to do a giant epic battles with these. I actually don't want to do them against this guy, though. I want to do them against an army of NPC people. I think that'd be hilarious. Especially since the NPC people tribe is about to make a mod where you can de-limb characters and there's blood and guts everywhere. Alright, well this is why the mod also comes with a power suit. I'm boogieing on the hell out of here. Whoa, shit! It gives you super speed, but hopefully enough super speed to avoid this big bastard. What's the point of having super speed if we can't outrun dinosaurs, man? <laughs> We have, we have a power suit on right now that harness futuristic energy for increased movement speed. And it's just not working. It is just not working right now. There's no escaping these. I just saw this guy in nature just now, like while I was just running around, running a fool testing out all this futurism stuff. And I just come across this badass fire Rex. I, I just, I just gotta say real quick, I cannot wait till we come across something like this in our modern survival series. I mean, something like this has the power to tear through tear through everything we've built so far. Just destroy everything, but what a clean slate that'll be. You know what, also, not only if we get to 100 episodes and start a new modded survival series with whole new crazy-ass mods, just the next greatest mods, mod generation of Ark, I guess if we also lose everything because of one of these guys, we should do that too. <laughs> those, those things are awesome. That's why I always love the Genesis mod. They provide the best competition. Alright, so yeah, this video was extremely short, but I had a good ass time. It was more just to highlight the new additions to the future as a mod. The Berserker, dude, what? You little monkeys, I cannot wait to find you again in my survival series. I'm gonna kill the shit out of you. So yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more. You can download the link in the description. I highly suggest you do, because it's one of the craziest things I've ever experimented with in ARC. And um, have a nice day, guys. Peace!